Hi everybody, it's Silly Cecilia here with another tutorial. Today I'm going to do a dance tutorial and I'm just playing with the sand because it's like really squishy, it's like this really weird sand. Anyways, I'm going to teach you how to do a pique arabesque, which is a ballet thing. So I'm also going to teach you how to do a tombe coupe jet tape jump. I'm not sure exactly what they're called. I know a word for it, but I forget it. And I just call it a tombe coupe jet tape because that's one of my one of my teachers called it. I'm going to pick out of the hat one more time, and it's going to be either my last or my second to last time. I haven't decided. And then I'm going to put a whole new thing refill in there. Um, with all different ideas so that I'll do different DIYs and tutorials and stuff. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Now I'm going to show you the five basic positions in ballet. This is first position. This is second position. Please excuse my hyperextended legs. This is fourth position. This is fifth position. And this is sixth position. First thing I'm going to teach you how to do is a pique arabesque. The first step is to learn how to do a B plus. This is standing on one of your legs, making sure it's turned out. That means having your toes facing the, your hip that, of the standing leg. Don't put any weight on your back toes and lift it up to test it once in a while. While you're in B plus, Bend your standing leg and extend your other leg. Now stretch in your split. Also stretch your back by going in first position, tondoing front, and kicking your leg in an attitude and trying to look at your foot. But try not to kick your eye. After that, you're going to just do the arabesque, but make sure the leg is straight. Now I'm going to teach you how to do a tombe coupe jete jump slash turn. Turning jump, you could call it. You're going to step to the side while pointing your, and straightening your leg into a coupe. And if you don't know what a coupe is, this is it. You are standing on one of your legs, make sure it's turned out. And with your other leg, you're going to bend it and point it and put it near your ankle, but a few inches above. Now you're going to practice that, but step over. Keep doing that, but this time do a jump. Do that again, but this time do a jump facing forward. And do that again, but this time bend the back leg. Practice that a lot, making it bigger each time. Now do that again, but this time turn during the coupe. Keep doing that, but this time roll to the ground on your bent knee. Thank you all for watching. I hope you learned how to do them, but now I get to pick out of the hat. There's only have a few in here, but it's going to be either my last or my second to last time picking. Okay, so what's that look actually? Here we go. I have that piece of light right there. It keeps like popping out. It's like, whoa. Anyway, um, dun, dun, dun. I got drum roll, please. Science projects. So since it's the summer right now, I'm not going to do like any boring science projects. I'm going to do fun science projects that would mean probably like slime and stuff because i love slime like don't even get me into it i love it and it's going to be really awesome so thanks again for watching and i'm also going to link below my blog because i love to write and i post my books in my blog so i'm gonna link that down below make sure you take a look at it um, and remember, always have fun and be silly. Bye.